Hey guys, Rick here at Halen Field Farm. This is day 88 of our 100 day homestead challenge. And today is gonna be a scorcher. It's already really hot. I'm gonna get down and get that garden watered first thing because it's gonna dry out fast. So uh, we did get most of the garden weeded and Still got a little bit to do in between the rows, but overall, we got a lot done. And, uh, Sarah was out there for hours. Hey guys, morning. Come on. In there, no, come on, go on. You guys made a mess. Yeah, put them in that one too. You guys won't argue so much. <coughs> Get them some bread after. I already fed the chickens. Uh, came out earlier because I forgot to shut their coop door last night. And I never do that. I'm always really good about it. it might just get away from me, I guess. Morning, chickens. Hello, chickens. Mama's coming with your milk. Calm down. Yes, Sarah's coming. Making up their milk. They've got two more days, and then they're all done. Today and tomorrow. And then no more bottles. Um, yeah, so Sarah um, and me and Tristan got all that weeded but Sarah really put in a lot of effort and came out really good so gonna get it watered actually ended up hauling like 300 gallons of water yesterday Filled up all the buckets for the animals and filled up the tank because everything was so dry. I wanted to get that garden watered. And then just as I made the last trip for water, it started raining. So a couple storms moved through. And uh, it wasn't a lot of rain, but it was enough to water everything. So but, oh, that's a big bug. All right, so I did get a nozzle for the hose. So I'm gonna use that instead because the sprinkler just really wasn't doing it. And uh, I can control it a little better, I think, with the, uh, the nozzle. So I'm gonna get this plugged in and then uh, go down there and we'll get, get all this watered. all in here last night. I was out here till dark cleaning up this. Well, I don't know how many vendors we're going to end up with, uh, but I'd like to have enough room and ample room for parking, so clear a little extra out, and then we'll get a good mow in here. Probably a couple good mows in here. I don't want them to burn, but it's going to be way too hot. You can already feel it. And, uh, 
They're already an air control, air quality warning. We've already lost some cucumbers that didn't, didn't make it. But majority of them are hanging on okay. Alright, gardens are watered, potato planters are watered, raised beds are watered. Oh, it was, uh, I had to put the camera down. It's a lot easier to fight the hose with two hands. So. And, uh, bugs are crazy this morning, already chewing me up. It's quite muggy. So, definitely the handle is uh, the way to go. Um, the nozzle, that was about half full. Was about up to here, so I used one square for watering. So, I'll fill that like three times a week, but hopefully it's just a couple weeks till that well's hooked up and it'll be good to go. So. Water up the greenhouse, get that done. Really can't believe how well the potato planters are doing. Um, I had mixed feelings about them, but they're really doing well. Or at least they see, they look like they're doing well. So I guess in the fall we'll uh, find out if uh, they actually did well. The water and cannery. A lot of yard work to do. I do uh, make sure it's mosquitoes and the horse flies are out too. Those things hurt when they bite. Uh, yeah, a lot of just mowing and stuff to get done. I want to keep up with it before the farmer's market. Oh, it actually looks pretty decent in here, but it's going to get really hot, so I'm doing a little drink just to be sure. Watering was done. That was the big thing. I'll water again tonight. Should be good. Uh, goats are out. We'll go say good morning to them. Uh, Alright, so today's plan is kind of a lot of administrative stuff, honestly. Uh, I'm going to get on the phone. Got to get a hold of the state. Um, and then get a call on liability insurance and get that set up um, and then I'm gonna be working on some signs I think and flyers for the farmers market so it's pretty much what's going to consume our day today in between the animals hello babies hello hey goats hi Judy hi Judy hey hello Hello, hi Tully. Yes, hello. Come here, Mr. Bojangles. Oh, that was Mr. Bojangles. I'm still learning the new ones. Eating your grain? Eating your grain? Hi, Bo. Hi. Hi, Bo. Hi. Yes, hello, Juniper. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. The horns are getting long. They don't wag their tails as much when they eat grain. <laughs> Just when they drink their bubba. Huh. Huh. Pretty girl. Hmm? Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Yes, you are. Give me that ear scratch. Look like that, huh? Yeah. Get this one too. Hmm. Oh. 
see what Luke's doing. Hey, Luke. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Say hello to everybody. Hello. All right. I'm just going to check on the chicks. I think all the farm chores are done. I can get on everything else. So, um, yeah, last night when we were done weeding, um, we took the dogs up to the lake and uh, got to let them get a good swim in. And by swim, I mean pretty much just willow because the other two just wade, but willow loves the water. So we brought them up there for about half an hour, let them jump in and swim. <laughs> willow. Good catch. Looking for a stick. Did you drop it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Go. Get it! Where did it go? go? No, it's too deep. It's too deep. Okay. Wait, what was it? Look out! There you go. You got it. That's <laughs> it. Let me see. Oh, Mama already fed you. Look at that. Look at that. You guys are doing good. They clean you out. Yes, they clean you out. Too many birds for a small space. Oh. All right. All right, so yeah, um, chores are done, garden's watered, animals are fed. I'm gonna grab them some bread. But uh, uh, other than that, it is just a lot of uh, phone calls to be making. And uh, like I said, we're gonna call the state. We're gonna find out a couple of things. And then I'm gonna get the insurance squared away. And I gotta get a hold of a plumber and hopefully um, he can get out here in the next couple of weeks. I did talk to our neighbor yesterday. He's gonna come and dig the trench with his backhoe. Um, he's just been really busy with his farm. So um, he said he'll be here within the next couple of weeks, next two weeks, he'll make sure it's done. So that'll save me a lot of digging and uh, make it a lot easier for the plumber when he gets here. And then uh, hopefully we can get him up here this week, get a quote, find out what he needs and we'll pick all that up and then uh, he can just come and hook it up and we'll have our own water and that'll be great. So, and yeah, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.